the minister calling Singaporeans idiots and stupid. February 23, 2020. Roy Neng. I just think it's very sad people don't understand why people panic. There's research on epidemic psychology. And when people do not have enough information, they will panic. We haven't seen how bad it is because this coronavirus isn't as bad as, say, SARS. But what if something worse comes out? How many of us will behave like idiots and be stupid? Or will we think of being embarrassed during that time? I think, for me, this offers a point to reflect, if we want to make a society really strong and resilient, what should we do? Continue to look down on people, be non-transparent so that they will be scared? To persecute people, so that they don't dare speak up, think, or join in in things? I think the issue for me, is, if we think we are better than other people, that they cannot think, then we will think they are stupid and not deserving. And that's what I take issue with, with Chan. I think people might laugh it off now, but if something worse happens, this panic incident shows the society in Singapore isn't prepared, because people will, clearly, blame one another, we won't understand one another, we will be selfish, and it's people on both sides, if we must people who panicked and rushed, and people who laugh at them. I don't know how strong our society to manage if a worse incident happens. To me, what happened is symptomatic. The government doesn't want to understand why people fear, it mocks. Other people mock, and do not have the capability to understand why people fear, and the system creates people who fear on the one hand, and people don't have the ability to understand others from a more holistic perspective. Singapore might keep cruising along now, but I don't know if we can still laugh and mock if something worse comes out. It's just that our system has created mindsets where we think we are better than others. People who agree that the people who panicked are idiots or stupid do so because we consciously or not believe we are better than them, and did not behave like them. But am I so much better? Don't I too judge? I do. At which point can we create a society where we can have more empathy, where greater equality will help us be able to understand the lives of one another better, so that when crisis comes, we will not mock, we can understand, and we can help one another. I do believe such a society can exist one day in Singapore, a more equal one where there's greater empathy towards one another, but I'm just sad it won't be today. It might be 20, 30, or 50 years down the road, and I may never live to see it.